So it's not named A. We'll go ahead and name it just for the uh, purpose of um, being able to reference our formula, so to speak, there. Okay. So we need to start by finding the determinant of A. Okay. Well, A is a 2 by 2, so that's nice. Um, A times D minus B times C. So that's positive 9 minus positive 4. So our determinant is 5. So A inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant, 1 fifth, times A and D are going to switch places. So negative 1 is now in row 1, column 1. Negative 9 is going to be in row 2, column 2. And B and C change signs. Okay? That's what that negative in there means. It doesn't mean that they're always negative numbers. It means that you change their signs. So in this case, they're already negative. So 4 and negative 1, negative 4 and negative 1 become positive 4 and positive 1. And our last step is we need to multiply uh, by that scalar multiple. Okay, multiply everything by the 1 fifth. And in this case, everything, uh, nothing simplifies. Okay, you just need to express all of those as fractions. So this is the inverse of matrix A. This is the inverse of matrix A. Now, you can use your calculator to check this. For a 2 by 2, I will insist upon seeing your work, but you can use your calculator to check it. So again, just go to your matrix, put it in matrix A. Okay, it's a 2 by 2. Type in the original, negative 9, negative 4, negative 1, negative 1. Go to your home screen, go back to matrix, select A, and then use that button right there. Instead of pressing second, and that button to get the matrix, you're just going to use that X with the negative 1 exponent. That is the inverse button there. Okay, that is the inverse button. So you're just going to press that button and press enter. Now they don't give it to us in fractional form, just like you can change any other decimal to a fraction, do the exact same thing. Press math, enter, enter, and it will turn all the entries in the matrix to fractions. So, um, I said you were only going to have to do a 2x2 two by, two by hand. What if I ask you to find the inverse of a 3x3? Three three? Well, you're solely going to do that in the calculator. Okay. So, everybody take number 44. Um, put that matrix in. It is a 3x3. Three three. Put those entries in. And do what I just did. Entries in there, second matrix, I put mine in A, press the inverse button. Okay, again, they are not in fraction form. I prefer fractions over decimals. The 3 by 3 is a little big, um, so once you write down your column 1 entries, you can use your right arrow to scroll over to see column 3. Okay, so I'm going to start copying that as y'all are finishing up with the calculator. So it is negative 8 over 5, negative 3 over 5, 6 over 5, 2 over 5.
Now there is a way to find the inverse of a two by two by hand, um, but I am not going to lie; it is very involved, uh, pretty complicated, lots of steps. Um, so we're not going to do that. Um, but if we were to try and connect it a little bit to finding the inverse of the two by two, do you see a similarity here? Um, what was the determinant probably of this matrix? Probably the same, right? Five, because all all our numbers here are over five. Um, so I assume that probably the determinant is five, because I do believe that that part of the thing is the same. Actually, I can check that. That can be the determinant of matrix A. And let's see if it is. It is. Okay. That part is the same. Um, but as far as figuring out, well, what switches places and, and everything, it, it's kind of hard to tell um, here how those numbers end up where they are um, and whatnot. It's not quite straightforward as the 2 by 2 is. Okay? Um, so, 2 by 2, you got to find the inverse by hand. 3 by 3, you just need to know the calculator steps. 